We continue today with chapter 11, The Condition of Reality. The world as you perceive it cannot have been created by the Father, for the world is not as you see it. God created only the eternal, and everything you see is perishable. Therefore there must be another world that you do not see. The Bible speaks of a new heaven and a new earth, yet this cannot be literally true, for the eternal are not recreated. To perceive anew is merely to perceive again, implying that before, or in the interval between, you are not perceiving at all. What then is the world that waits your perception when you see it? Every loving thought that the Son of God ever had is eternal. The loving thoughts his mind perceives in this world are the world's only reality. They are still perceptions because he still believes that he is separate, yet they are eternal because they are loving. And being loving, they are like the Father, and therefore cannot die. The real world can actually be perceived. All that is necessary is a willingness to perceive nothing else. For if you perceive both good and evil, you are accepting both the false and the true and making no distinction between them. The ego may see some good, but never only good. That is why its perceptions are so variable. It does not reject goodness entirely, for that you could not accept. But it always adds something that is not real to the real, thus confusing illusion and reality. For perceptions cannot be partly true. If you believe in truth and illusion, you cannot tell which is true. To establish your personal autonomy, you tried to create unlike your father, believing that what you made is capable of being unlike him. Yet everything true is like him. Perceiving only the real world will lead you to that real heaven, because it will make you capable of understanding it. The perception of goodness is not knowledge, but the denial of the opposite of goodness enables you to recognize a condition in which opposites do not exist. And this is the condition of knowledge. Without this awareness, you have not met its conditions, and until you do, you will not know it is yours already. You have made many ideas that you have placed between yourself and your Creator, and these beliefs are the world as you perceive it. Truth is not absent here, but it is obscure. You do not know the difference between what you have made and what you have created. To believe that you can perceive the real world is to believe that you can know yourself. You can know God because it is His will to be known. The real world is all that the Holy Spirit has saved for you out of what you have made, and to perceive only this is salvation because it is the recognition that reality is only what is true. And from the workbook, Lesson 84, these are the ideas for today's review. Love created me like itself. I am in the likeness of my Creator. I cannot suffer. I cannot experience loss and I cannot die. I am not a body. I would recognize my reality today. I will worship no idols nor raise my own self-concept to replace myself. I am in the likeness of my Creator. Love created me like itself. You might find these specific forms helpful in applying the idea. Let me not see an illusion of myself in this. As I look on this, let me remember my Creator. My Creator did not create this as I see it. Love holds no grievances. Grievances are completely alien to love. 
grievances attack love and keep its light obscure. If I hold grievances, I am attacking love and therefore attacking myself. Myself thus becomes alien to me. I am determined not to attack myself today so that I can remember who I am. These specific forms for applying this idea would be helpful. This is no justification for denying myself. I will not use this to attack love. Let this not tempt me to attack myself. Love created me like itself. Love holds no grievances. Today, let us meet the condition of reality. Let us see the world as it really is. The real world, the forgiven world, the happy dream the Holy Spirit holds out to the mind that wants to be aligned with the love of God. Today, let our perception be holy. Let us perceive only what God has put in our mind, only the loving thoughts. These are our perceptions in this world, but this happy dream is the way, the truth, and the life in a manifested form that can only bless, that is healing. It is impossible to perceive a world of opposites. Let me make no attempt to perceive the impossible. Today I would relinquish all attempts for personal autonomy all attempts to try to create unlike our Heavenly Father. Today, the peace of Heaven, the joy in our hearts is realized. Today we practice with these two Review lessons in earnesty and sincerity. Love created me like itself. Love holds no grievances. And if there is a need for Variation, these specific forms may be helpful. Let me not see an illusion of myself in this. As I look on this, let me remember my Creator. My Creator did not create this as I see it. This is no justification for denying myself. I will not use this to attack love. Let this not tempt me to attack myself. Amen. <laughs>